basically all you got to do is stick with it, get out of bed in the morning, work it, work it, get it the f out of there. Klondike legend Tony Beats is planning to mine more gold than ever before. We're aiming for the 5,000 ounces, and the way the gold price is right now, hey, you get 5,000 ounces, you get a million bucks. I mean, what's the matter with it? Tony's already mined all the easy pay dirt on Paradise Hill. Now he's digging out the deepest cuts of his career, the cold cut and the blue cut. So Mike, he's got a bit of pressure on him right now. I told him I want the cold cut and the blue cut, all stripped ready down the pike by the end of the week. So this way we can likely get some natural taw and work them back and forth. In six weeks, Tony's son Mike has removed two thirds of the overburden from the cuts. Now he must strip the last third in just one week. While one crew strips in the blue cut, Mike leads another crew in the cold cut, ripping overburden, which is loaded into rock trucks, then hauled to the nearest dump site. But temperatures are rising, and the ground is thawing so fast, the trucks are in danger of getting stuck. It's a dangerous game trying to drive when it's this muddy. With the mess they make, we have to make sure we have something there to push the dirt. My name is Peter, I come from Friesland. I enjoy here a lot. See a lot of different things that we don't have at home. At the cold cut dump site, Yukon rookie Peter Akama is using a D6 dozer to move the thawed mud and keep the route clear for the rock trucks. Tony, yeah, he comes from the same, same county where I come from. Some people get really nervous of him. He yell all the time, so. It doesn't matter for me if he held me. I'm used to that. It's not a bad guy for the work for him. Rack right up. Tony, do you copy? <laughs> My track run off the D6. I need some help over here. Nick D Garby, Nick D Garby. Yeah. Can you bring over that D10 so we can pull that six off the dump? The one with the truck. Rock truck gyres, rock truck gyres. The D6 is broken. You will be dumping another dump until we have it fixed. Until they can get the track back on the D6, the rock trucks will have to use a dump site on the other side of the claim half a mile away. Tony needs to get the D6 out of the mud before he can do the track repair. Gotta get it fixed, get it back in the dump. Okay, get it out of here. Pick up the base. Let's go. Steady. Then we'll bring it to the yard and we'll get on that thing ASP so we can get it back working. The 63-ton D10 is stuck in the mud. Tony's problems keep getting bigger, with both dozers now stranded. Hey, cover the gobby, cover the gobby. To get the dozers out, Tony throws even more iron at the problem. Get close to the stage yard, pick it on the bottom, but I'm gonna pick it on the bottom. You lift the blade up, put them on. Go, go. 
That came out pretty good. The 10 hit soft ground, so that went the ass end of the cat. Anyway, I haven't given a pull with a hose. It came out pretty easy. Should be home free, yeah, I think so. See how that goes? Yeah. Oh, I think it's cool to walk around here. Yeah, there's just so much stuff. Especially when you want to make something. Worldwide supply chain issues mean tracks take weeks to arrive. Oh yeah, there's plenty of goodies in here. Son Kevin and nephew Mike hope to find an old but usable replacement in Tony's five-acre boneyard. Do you think we're going to find something here? He should. He may have to go to the next goody pile. Ooh. Yep, we got it. Only in his second year mining, cousin Mike is charged with putting the track back on the D6. Right now, this will be the only D6 running out here. We're going to need it pretty bad. So uh, yeah, we want to get this done and get this done right. It's also my first time, so uh, we'll see how it goes. We're using a chain on this end, and then we put the chain over the track frame to the back. And then that's how we're going to pull the whole track over the track frame towards the sprocket. Yeah, well, for us, it's all new. We're still learning a lot. I'm thinking of using the Kamalong to pull the tracks. It's a little safer and you won't damage anything. It's not tight. The novice mechanic has come up short. The track coupling should overlap, but there is a gap of eight inches. You can't connect to where it is. There's no way you're gonna use the cam along to pull that track from here underneath all that weight. It's just not gonna happen. So, disconnect this, drop it down. We're gonna fire up the cat, then we're gonna go in reverse. Yeah. But we're not gonna run that track. That'll cause this to spin back till we get it to, uh, I'd say, right about here. And then we'll slap it together. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Open up the throttle. Okay. Okay, so track is on, it's all tightened up. The D6 is ready to head back out to the dump. We need it out there a little bad, so perfect. 